Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Nomadic Toiletry Bag 2.0. And there's actually two versions of this bag that were recently released, a large and a small version. We're gonna be looking at the small version here on the channel. And so far, I feel like this has worked pretty well as a minimal toiletry bag. It definitely keeps things simple, but still offers some unique features. And so I'm just really excited to share with you guys. So let's just jump in and take a closer look at the Nomadic Toiletry Bag 2.0. And so starting out with the aesthetic and form factor, I really like how slim the Toiletry Bag 2.0 is. As I mentioned earlier, this is the small version. There's a larger version, but typically this is about as big of a toiletry bag as I like to take with me, especially when I'm traveling with one bag. So really cool that the form factor is pretty slim. On the whole, it's a very minimal, plain kind of accessory, just all black. It has a small nomadic branding on the front. Doesn't really have a lot of pockets or additional zippers on the top. There's just a very simple carry handle if you wanna carry this outside of your bag or if you wanna pull it out easily. As far as the overall look, this really reminds me a lot of the Gravel Explorer Slim. It had a very similar kind of tarpaulin-like material and all black look. It has very well protected zippers to keep leaks inside and out of the bag. I don't think the zippers are YKK or anything like that. I haven't been able to find any branding on them, but for the most part, they've worked very well. It's very easy to open and close the bag. As far as the size, I did want to do a quick comparison with some of the toiletry bags that I've used most in the past. And so what I have here is Air's original DOP kit and their more recently released travel kit, which has been kind of my favorite DOP kit that I've tested out over the past couple of months. And so as far as the size, you can see that the Nomadic toiletry bag is a little bit slimmer than the Air DOP kit. It's also a little bit taller than both of them. So that's something to keep in mind, depending on what type of bag you're traveling with. But in general, it seems to have the same slimness that the air travel kit had so both of them packed down pretty flat if you want to save a little bit of extra space because this is shorter that might be the better option but for the most part i've been really happy with where i've been able to squeeze the nomadic toiletry bag into the air dop kit of course is going to offer a little bit of additional space it's going to get a little bit thicker and have some extra pockets but if you're just looking for something minimal you can see that the size for the nomadic toiletry bag is going to work out pretty well and so I was really surprised with just how simple Nomadic kept this toiletry bag considering how many pockets they typically like to add to some of their other bags. And so on the outside, you really just have one compartment and it's meant to hold something like your toothbrush. So it opens up here at the top. And currently what I have in here is just a small travel toothbrush that I can fold and then a little tiny holder for my cologne. As you can see inside the pocket, it has this very durable material that's easy to clean. You can pull that out. If you put a wet toothbrush in there, you should be okay. So really like how this was implemented here. You can definitely fit a full-size toothbrush, or if you have something like the Quip electric toothbrush, it should be able to fit in there okay as well. And so jumping into the main area, it has a zipper that goes all the way around. And this is another area where it differs a little bit from the Gravel Explorer Slim. That one opened up vertically, whereas this one has more of a horizontal opening. So I think this works a little bit better, at least for the way that I typically like to pack and I also think it makes it a little bit easier to pack in larger items and so opening it up just a very simple layout here separated into the two sides the first thing I'll call out is that you do have this little strap here that allows you to hang this on a variety of handles or something like a towel rack so I really like how this was implemented here just really solid buckles it's very easy to take that out and adjust it so that if you have something thicker that you want to wrap this around it should be pretty easy another nice touch here is that you can actually remove this strap, it has a little loop here, so it's very easy to attach and remove if you wanna just simplify the DOP kit a little bit and have less straps to worry about. And so I really like this system here. I think this works better than the hooks that we see on something like the Air Travel Kit as it gives you a little bit more flexibility. It's also nice that the compartments are made out of these mesh and clear materials to make it very easy to see what's in these areas. And so starting with this area at the top, it's just one large compartment. This material here feels very water resistant. So if you have something that happens to spill, it should be well contained away from the rest of your stuff. And I like the amount of space offered here. So I have a full size deodorant and then I also have just a disposable razor and a case for my contacts. And so moving on to this other clear compartment here, it has a nice wide opening, very easy to get into and out of it. And so I'm able to fit more than I expected into here. Currently what I have is some talcum powder and then I have a little plastic case to hold wax for my hair. And then I also have a travel size shaving cream. So nice amount of space in this compartment. You see I spilled a little bit of my talcum powder, but that comes out pretty easily. The material is very similar to the durable material that we saw in the toothbrush compartment. So very easy to clean, or if you have any spills, it shouldn't be a problem. And then on the other side, there's just a smaller compartment. This one is not clear. So it's nice that if you have something a little bit more sensitive that you don't want to easily see what's in the compartment, you can just toss that in here. Currently what I have is just some medicine 
and then I have a foldable comb. And then I also have a pair of tweezers and a few different size nail clippers. And that's all I really have in this compartment at the moment. There was some leftover space, so if I wanted to toss in some band-aids or more medicine, there would have been plenty of room for that. And so with this simple layout here, it's nice that you can easily separate everything out and find your things while you're on the go. But if you need a little bit of extra space or if you want two larger compartments like the one that you see here on the flap, it's nice that there's a divider on the inside here that actually separates these compartments and you can take that down so that you can create just one larger compartment. So if you have taller accessories that you wanna to toss in here or you just don't really want that separation or you don't need it, there's a little Velcro attachment here. As you can see, you just push that wall down and then this kind of lays flat and allows you to have a little bit more flexibility with this bottom area. So really nice job overall. I really like the design and I'm excited to test this out on more trips and combine it with Nomadic's other products going forward. And so to wrap up, it's been a pretty good experience testing out the Nomadic Toiletry Bag 2.0, another really great offering from Nomadic. It keeps things very simple, it's solidly built, and it still offers some really nice organizational options. And so you can purchase this on Nomadic site for about $50, which I think is a pretty reasonable price considering the build quality and features that it offers. It also comes in very close in price to a lot of the other similar toiletry bags in this category. And so as I was testing this out, the first toiletry bag that this reminded me of was the Gravel Explorer Slim, which we looked at pretty recently. It actually has a very similar aesthetic as we talked about during the video. The organization is laid out a little bit different, but very similar, solid build quality, is very weather resistant. And so if you're looking for an alternative to the Nomadic toiletry bag that's gonna offer maybe some additional compartments and has a little bit of a different layout, the Gravel Explorer Slim is gonna be a good option to check out. Another toiletry bag that this reminded me of was the Air Travel Kit, which has been my favorite Dop kit for the past couple of months. I've been traveling with that one a lot. It has some really great organizational options. It also has a pretty small footprint, so it fits in well into a larger travel bag. It also comes in at $45, so it's a little bit cheaper than this one. So if you're looking for just kind of the best all around toiletry bag, I still think the Air Travel Kit is gonna be tough to beat. And speaking of Air's toiletry bags, their original Dop kit was also a fantastic option. It was a little bit larger, but it had some great organizational options, a solid build quality. I've had that one for a while, taken it on many trips, and it continues to hold up very well so if you're looking for something maybe a little bit more stylish that's not quite as water resistant but has tons of different organizational options the air dop kit 1.0 is going to be a great option to check out as well and then the last option that i'll mention here which is the one i typically turn to when i need to save the most amount of space is the in case accessory pouch which isn't really meant to be a toiletry bag but it just offers a really small footprint just the right amount of capacity. It has minimal organizations, a nice build quality, and it comes in at around $30. So if you're looking to save a little bit of money and you want something small that's gonna be able to hold everything that you need to carry with you as far as toiletries, the in-case accessory pouch is also a really good option to keep in mind. But with all that being said, the Nomadic Toiletry Bag 2.0 holds up really well against those DOP kits. It offers a really solid build quality, some good weather resistance, a nice aesthetic, and it fits in really well with Nomadic's ecosystem of travel accessories. And I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts about DOP kits and toiletry bags in general. It's interesting to me that they make larger versions of these bags, so they take up a lot of space, and I'm curious if you guys ever pack that many toiletries into your suitcases. So let me know what DOP kits you guys like to use or if you have any cool tips that might be helpful for people to organize their toiletries. And if you guys found this video useful, please go ahead and give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.